Well, COVID is still a reality and more and more people are going to online courses to learn new skills, to improve the skills that they already have, and all with the intention to change our lives for the better, improve our businesses, earn more money. And let's be honest, online courses are getting more expensive as they are becoming a much more legit way to learn new skills. So with all the money that we are investing into online courses, we should be getting the best out of them, right? So all of this comes down to the way we process the information from those courses. So this is what we are going to be covering in this video, how to maximize the output that we get from these expensive courses. Let's get into it. Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Daniel, founder of the Notion Academy. And on this channel, we use tools and other strategies to free up our time and to gain control of our lives. So back to online courses. The first thing that I do whenever I buy an online course is to create a new page for the course. And I store it in my Knowledge Hub. Here I have all my online courses and I'm going to be storing them over here. In this database, the main things that I'm tracking is whether or not it's a paid course, which is the status of the course, if it's in progress, on hold, or a potential course that I may buy in the future, and so on. The price that I have paid for it in my knowledge hub or my tags database, I'm tagging it to the topic that the course is related, and then the author. But don't worry about this, just a simple database with the page for the course will be enough. And if you want to track how much you spend, also. Because the real importance is on how we are actually going to take notes within each of the pages. So now that everything is set up, I'm going to give you the five tips for taking online course notes. The first one will be the desktop setup. If you're using a laptop, I encourage you to put half the screen with the online course and half the screen with the notes that you are taking. So how do I do this productively in my Mac? I have an app called Tiles that just with a shortcut, I can put this on the right side of the screen and then over here and over here, I can put my notes on the left. And like this, I'm able to take notes looking all the time at the same screen. I don't have to change between windows. But if you have two screens, by all means, use one screen for notes, one screen for the course. The next tip is going to be to use toggles. Why do we want toggles? Well, because this makes the notes page so much cleaner. And how are we going to use it? Let me show you the Parton YouTuber Academy notes as an example. Here, as you can see, I have all the sessions and all the lessons hidden in the toggles. And I'm also writing here what the lesson is going to be about. This is going to differ from one online course to the other. For example, in this course, one session was one topic. So this was very easy. But what if the course has several short videos all for one topic? Well, all the information from those videos I will be inputting within the same toggle because I want that each toggle is one topic. The next tip is going to be to create action items. You know that online courses are packed with information and there's a lot of things that we can implement from those because if we just consume and don't do anything with it, we're just wasting our money. So the best way to make sure that we're actually doing something with the course is to create those action items. So how do we create them? Let me show you an example for this. There was an exercise that was to create five months of content in five minutes in which Ali Abdal showed us a, an exercise. So here I have created this task, which is to do the Ali exercise, five minutes for five months. And how am I creating this? Well, in, in Notion, it's very easy to create new tasks from whatever just by using the plus sign. And then I can start writing, do this new task. And I have the option to create it in a different database. And for this, I'm going to use my task database. And here it is. And that's it. Now I will just have to go into the task and fill all the fields that I have here. Also, one positive aspect of creating tasks like this is that I can very easily go back to the exact point of the course in which I'm talking about this. 
for a better context. So now if I click in here, I will go back to the five months in five minutes context. So this will help me when I'm going to do this task. And now this task has already entered into my system. And as you know from other videos, I schedule all my weeks in my weekly review on Saturdays or Sundays. So this task is going to pop up and I can schedule it to make sure that I get it done. The fourth tip is going to be to take screenshots of everything. Why? Because videos are not very skimmable. For example, in this course, the videos are like one hour, one hour 30 or even two hours long. So this is impossible to skim. So what I'm gonna do every time that I'm watching a lesson is to screenshot all the parts that I think that may add to the context of my notes. Good things to screenshot are like complex tables or graphics that we don't have time to, to write. So we will just screenshot them here. If we find that we take a lot of screenshots and we think that this is cluttering our notes, just we can hide them in toggles, title the toggle, and that is it. If we want to watch them, we will just open it. And then the final tip is going to be to tag topics within the notes of the course. Because for example, in this course, we are talking about how to grow in YouTube, but it's possible that in one of the lessons they are going to mention something related to a different topic that is not YouTube. So as I've shown you in my master tags database video, I have a database with all the tags and all the topics that I am actively researching. So let's say that we find something related to some other topic in this fifth session when they are talking all about gear. So let's say that in the end, they talk about this product that is going to help me to stream online my videos. And I didn't know how to do this. So I already had a topic that is called online streaming in which I'm putting everything related to online streaming for the moment that I'm going to start to stream so I can have everything there. So I just added this tag and the way to do this because this already existed, I don't have to use the plus sign. I can use the double square bracket and I can just type the topic that I want to relate this to. And here it is. So here, whenever I go to online streaming, I can see this is linking to the page and I can easily go back here. So if you are to walk away with just one tip from this video, let it be the creating action items tip. Because for me, this is the best way to really make sure that we get the most out of these courses because they are so expensive. So let's get the most out of our money. In some parts of this video, I have shown you around the backlinks, creating new pages within a page and everything. So if you wanna go more in depth into this, I'm going to link also here a video in which you can learn everything about this feature. And I'm going to also be sharing some use cases and how to use them better. So please check it out. So that is it for this video guys and as always, hasta la próxima.